Annyeong Haseo, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. We continue our series of anti-drug propaganda films with 1935's The Cocaine Fiends. But first, we have the next episode of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, BDSM icon The Black Whip escaped having her identity revealed by snatching the bandit's gun like the writers just stopped caring about the drama. Barbara and Vic meet prospector Zeke after he struck gold, and then Barbara invites Vic to dinner while making suggestive hand gestures. Hammond sends his goons to jump Zeke's claim, but Vic and Barbara arrive just in time to save him. Vic sends Zeke to rest in his tent, and Hammond's goons throw a lit keg of gunpowder at it after the Black Whip goes inside. We're halfway through the serial, and where's Zorro? Where is he? See if you can spot him in Episode 7 of Zorro's Black Whip, Wolf Pack. Welcome back! Tonight's feature is the Depression-era film The Cocaine Fiends. Jane Bradford is seduced into going to the big city and becoming addicted to cocaine. Her brother goes to the city in search of her and gets a job at a gas station where he also becomes addicted to cocaine. Then the movie's about other people who may or may not have anything to do with cocaine. This film is a remake of a 1928 silent film called The Pace That Kills, and even uses some of that original film's footage. So we're not just dealing with an 86-year-old movie, we're dealing with an 86-year-old cut-up of a 93-year-old movie. In other words, the print is kinda rough. But that's okay, because the movie itself doesn't make much sense. But we expect anti-drug propaganda to be absurd, and this movie vacillates between ambiently dull and vaguely suggestive. I don't even know who the main character is supposed to be. See what you think of a film that promises salaciousness and never delivers in tonight's feature, The Cocaine Fiends. Tonight's feature is The Cocaine Fiends, and I'll cop to this flick being pretty boring. For all its posturing about the evils of drug use, it doesn't really show the appeal or consequences of drugs. The characters just get tricked into using. What does make the movie interesting is its morality. Characters become doomed once they come into contact with sin, not through any willful action on their part. In other words, it's not that they choose to transgress and then find that they have no path to redemption, but that in becoming victims, they're forever barred from redemption. And the movie's explicit about this being a gendered state of affairs. Spoiler alert, Jane will meet up with Eddie later while he's in the depths of an opium binge and tell him to go back to the country. When he tells her to come with him, she says girls can't come back. Just like the plot of last week's Assassin of Youth hinged on the female protagonist's reputation, Jane cannot, as it were, return to the garden because she's known sin. Eddie can be the prodigal son and return home, but Jane has no community that will accept her return. In the final scene, when she takes action to save several other characters, she still ends up being arrested and taken away for punishment. Despite literally being abducted into slavery, she still can't be forgiven. All of this makes the second half of the film sound more exciting than it is. In fact, it's boring and confusing, but it has some interesting visuals. Your best entertainment bet is to make fun of every shot every way you can. And without further ado, we return to the Cocaine Fiends. I... I, I don't even know. I, here's a peek at our next feature. H.P. Lovecraft tries to warn a community about an otherworldly threat, but they won't listen. Aliens infest the town, trying to act human, but failing. It is my soul that calls upon thy name. Is there no way to defeat this menace before they take over? See the threat faced in Grief or Madness next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. <laughs> That's right, we're pulling out the big guns to wrap up this month's series of anti-drug films. Until then, come sound it on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, blah, 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 blah. And as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.